My name is Leo. Welcome. How's everybody doing today? We are having a good time. All right. Let's all welcome Leo to the place today. Uh, all right. Good life. There we are. All right. How's everybody feeling, man? How's everybody doing today? Hope you're having a wonderful day. We got uh, some good things happening, some crazy things happening, just things in general. Uh, let me just make sure you guys are in here. Welcome, welcome. Look at this guy. Look at him. He's a cute little guy. You see that? That's him right there. That's his body. It's like a little kangaroo. Kangaroo bear. Cookity cook. Kangaroo. How's everybody doing? What's up, Rohit? How are you, man? It's like a kangaroo. Yeah, we got a kangaroo bear. Um, <laughs> Christian, how are you, man? What's the deal, guys? No, he didn't meet Bella. Bella is somewhere here. No, Bella's right here with us. <laughs> Bella, you know, I got my two pets today. You know, her, her and the bear. Bella, you want to eat the bear? You want to eat the bear? We need you to eat the bear. Unfortunately, she ate the bull. So that's the deal, man. I'm going to, what do you guys think about me doing a show like this? I was thinking about it. So overall, what's up, Miguel? How are you? How's everything doing? Um, yeah, yeah. If you guys are wondering, she already went to the bathroom, so don't worry about me. Yeah. Um, Ace Bush, how are you, brother? What's up, Elliot? What's up? I, I was thinking either holding Elliot up today or um, maybe Angel Ortiz. What's up, man? How are you, Leo Gonzalez? So yeah, I, today's good. show is de dedicated to you, man. <laughs> Zachary Fuller, what's up, man? What's up? What's up, everybody? So, yeah, we got a lot to talk about today. Um, I was thinking maybe I'm not going to do the show today. It's actually going to be Bella. So, Bella, talk to them. All right, guys. So, today we're going to talk about what's going on and why the market is doing so bad. Or is it doing good? Leo, we're talking to you. What do you guys think? Tranquility? Because no, ventriloquist. And, <laughs> what do you think, Bella? All right. <sighs> All right, guys. So, yeah, a lot of things going on. Today, we're going to discuss a couple things. Yeah, it is a very bearish ace push, absolutely. But what we're going to discuss today is what do we do in a market like this? Like, this is really down. To me, I am so excited about this type of market. Dave Gorbia, what's up, man? Hope you had a good vacation. Today's Yes, sponsored by Bear Calls. Good afternoon. Can I borrow Bella? Yep, Bella, you have to go. Boy, do you want to borrow Bella or do you want to borrow Bera? You got to choose, but right now we're talking about Bera. So what? let's look at overall the market today, see what's really going on, see what we could do about it. And, I, you know, I love moments like this because we could really learn from the market. And that's why we're here every time. If you're new here, welcome. Definitely recommend you uh, checking it out. Thank you for joining. And if you are new here, come say hi. Say hi, say hello, say whatever you like. And so based on what I'm seeing here, guys, some may see some bad, bad things, some may not. Now, last week I told you a couple things. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the couple stocks we did have, okay? So the market's obviously looking bearish, and we're going to go over exactly what's happening. But there are four stocks we, we called out last week. Uh, two, one was Caterpillar, I believe. Oh, okay. I got the list. Right. One was a Caterpillar. We did a great job on. We made profit the next day. Oh. Cat uh, to the downside, yeah. Mar to the downside. And Mar, we did it. Now, two stocks and then build it to the up. Are, did not hit yet, but I want to show you something. So one of them was HR. HR. <laughs> really liking the stock. And this is why I like the stock. Now you might, I'm going to show you what I called out and where we are now, because you know what? Real winners, people who are legit in this business will show you what they did. And that's what we're going to do. And so I saw it here and I said, I really like this. I said, as long as it's a long-term call, I think this is good. Now the market went down and the stock went down with it, but here's what's cool about this. And this is why I'm not a fan of day trading. As a day trader, you would have taken a big, big loss and that's it. I would have put something like a 30 day option, something like that. But look what happened. The stock went up and it went down and it bounced off the average. So 
I'm okay with that because now it's beginning to reverse. And I want to keep track of the stock. So let's make sure we keep track because it is very close to reversing back, even in a horrific market like that. So that's why we choose the stocks that are high in volume. You want stocks that are high in volume. Why? Because when it's high in volume, they're not going to throw off the ladder. They're not going to do crazy things unless you're Netflix. So, you know, now this was not a news driven stock. So I picked this stock. A lot of the other stocks that we could talk about today, technology stocks, I think Twitter was in the, in the news for some reason, Elon Musk, but those type of things happen. I picked a stock that's still in good position. I'm really a fan of this move. And I want to make sure you guys see it's not happening overnight, but I would never get out of this position. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. And the other one we looked at was HTA, it right? Be very similar. Huh? It should be very similar. So HTA, same thing, guys. So if you look back, today's what, Thursday, yes, Wednesday? That one. Yeah. So if you looked at it and you, let's just say you call this play, you may not be happy with me because the second I said, I think it's going to go up, it plummeted down to here. But look what's happening. Yes, it was one bad day, bad market situation. When another day, bad market situation, bounced perfectly off the average. <clears throat> now it's coming right back up. Solid day today. On a horrific, horrific market like today, solid day, great bounce. And guess what? Last time it bounces off these lines, big things happen. Bounces off these lines, big things happen. Bounces off this line, big things are happening. So I'm expecting to see this, these two go up. And I want to make sure you guys understand exactly what's going on here. Now, if this is gibberish to you and you really kind of lost of what, what I'm looking at here, no big <laughs> deal, guys. Check out our webinar, comment webinar below. You know, and we will send you the webinar for you absolutely free of charge. Somebody will message it to you. So just comment webinar. If you don't know how to spell webinar, write web. <laughs> I had somebody who did not know how to spell webinar. So, all right, cool. And then Warren Cat. Yeah, those went up. Well, how you they went up, but they went down. But they did go down. Before. Yeah, but we want to make sure you get it the right way. Uh, Blue Black, we got you for that. What's up, Felix? How are you, man? You know, Felix, he's one of our uh, one of our members. And it's funny because I was thinking of you today, and this is a true story. <laughs> so he was actually a student of mine doing one on one trainings. When I first originally started doing these trainings back in the COVID days, we were locked down and I, I found a training that we had, I recorded it. And bro, my closet was open in the back. What a mess. I didn't realize it. I was like, oh my God, it's like he, I'm sitting in my son's room and the closet was open. Felix, you couldn't say something. He couldn't be like, yo, bro, close the closet. Oh, Jesus, man. I, I did not appreciate that. But the fact that you're making money in stocks makes me happy. So that's great. And if you want to be coached just like Felix was coaching by me, I promise you I will not have any closet issues or anything like that. If you're interested, comment coaching below. I'd love to set up a call with you. I told you with my eyes. Ah, typical Felix Vega answer. All right. So when we're looking at the market, guys, yeah, it's down, man. What do you want me to say? Deepan Kapu, Deepan Kar, Dudu Deji. Oh, man. Deepan Kar. The Deja. Hello. Sorry if I messed up your name. I apologize. You just didn't catch it. That was my fault, Vega. I should have said no. Me and him used to play ping pong together. That was good times. Kind of miss tennis too. What's your take on Shopify from long term? We'll look at that in a second. But here's what I'm thinking about the market, guys. Yes, it's down. Yes, it's coming down pretty hard. In fact, I think it might come down a little bit more. But here's what's cool about that. Let me show you this. Ah, Travis Low Edwards. Guess what, man? This man actually came in to visit us in the office. I have a video of it. Chilled with Bella. Bella loves him. And just to find out more about us, he drove like a few hours just to come here. Real good dude, man. But when I'm looking at this, I'm going to go back a little long term here and really kind of show you what's going on in this situation here. So if I go back two years, okay, you want to see something, Elliot? I want to show you something. Look at this beauty that we have forming. And guys, it's, sometimes it's all about the weight. It's like a chess game. And if I go back here, um, I'm going to do a little bit more on the weekly side. Let's do, do you have a weekly one here? Uh, yeah. So check this out, man. Look at this. 
we are forming this beautiful pattern coming in together. So whether it's here, whether it's here, somewhere here, it is getting ready for a bounce. When we see this bounce, guys, I am telling you, just like I told you before, there will be some bullishness involved. Anthony Mazella, what's up, man? There will be some bullishness involved. Involved. That's correct. Yep. That's what I said. So we are waiting for this. We are absolutely waiting for this to bounce here and start moving to the upside. But I'm going to say this again. We are still waiting. What's up, Bob? How are you, man? We're still waiting. Uh, two hammers or is a hammer or bearish engulfing. What did you say? Uh, which one? Curious about a, a with two hammers. Uh, maybe she wrote, I, can you re rewrite that, Kelly? I'm, I'm just trying to understand what you're saying. Uh, yeah, so here, if we are really smart about this and we're seeing a bounce here, a bounce oh, here, a, a bounce here, a bounce here, a bounce here, guess what? Okay, sorry, we, we clarified, Kelly. It's uh, curious about a with? A, a, I think A is a stock. About A with two. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm sorry, Kelly. I got you. My I bad. Put a dollar or something. My a apologies. That. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that shot, yeah. yeah, so here, um, we're just waiting. Let's, we just waiting to see this pop. Now, when we do, this is going to be huge, and we're going to see a pop to the upside all the way to 450, and then we're going to start looking maybe a little bit of retracement. But we need to see confirmation. That's what I got to tell you. Confirmation is huge, guys. If you don't get a confirmation, do not trade. Let me show you what confirmation means. Confirmation means the stock is going down, and then boom, we got to the upside. Stock is going down, we got up, up. You know, you want to see up. You want to see up. You want to see up. Like the big, huge candles like these. And notice one thing. Every big downward move, <clears throat> every single one, guess what? They create big up moves. Okay. So same thing here. Stack goes down. Goes up. Goes up. That's a confirmation. Goes down. We're still waiting for the confirmation. Guys, it's going to be a big move. That's all I could tell you. But do not, do not, do not trade assuming you think the move is going to happen. You will get rocked right in the face. Boom, bam, right in the Bella face. So, yeah, be very, 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 very careful as, I, as we continue with this beautiful day. So, guys, if you have any stocks you want us to review, comment the stocks below. We're going to check them out. I will say right now, let's look at a couple things that are trending. Everyone's asking about Twitter right now, right? So, Twitter, um, you know, Elon Musk bought this whole thing. I'm going to tell you right now, it, it, I could be a pooper of parties here, right? I like what I'm seeing from it, but because of the news, it could go uh, either direction. It, so, I don't really like trading news because it's an opinion-based kind of thing. You know, I could I could have an opinion, but once you have opinions, that becomes problems. I'm seeing that it's still, if I draw this trend here, it's still not fully where it needs to be. And it, the fact that it's riding this 200 day moving day average, I have a problem with that. I don't want the gap already happened because of it. I would not recommend messing with Twitter right now. Let's get it some time. Let's give it some, like, you might see a big upswing, but there's also big downswings that you don't hear about. So be very, very careful. Someone has something for the long term. I forgot. Shop. Shop. Yeah. So that's the deal there. I can only see you on my phone for some reason. Um, I think it's time for a Mac. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> if you can see me on the phone, you should be able to see me on the thing. But I'll dance around more. Maybe the computers need a little more depth. Is it we're getting taken out of the stock market <laughs> since it became private? I think so. Yeah. So be careful. I just, some people I've, I've heard are, are trying to trade it now. I just wouldn't. I just wouldn't, especially if that's the case. If they're, you know, they're going private. Yeah, I think that's what Musk wants to do. Just be careful. That's all I can tell you. Uh, all right. PBF is an upside, maybe. So what's next? Uh, Let's look at Shopify, actually. Somebody asking for the long term. Um, okay, so based on what I'm seeing here, do not invest in this on the short term. So I'll tell you that right away. If you're looking for a long term, so we could go into maybe let's look at three years, kind of see what's going on, right? Um, so 
on a long term, you still got to be careful. I feel like not right now. Like, yeah, long, long term, of course. But like, it's right here. So it's it broke through multiple averages. So I'm, I'm assuming the stock might have a, a good indication of even going all the way as low as 300. Now, if it hits 300, I would say maybe. But as of right now, it's way below 200. They're moving the average. All the other averages are pointing very strong to the downside. There's nothing showing me at all, not a single bit that it's bullish long-term as of right now. I would not invest in anything like this. I would strongly wait. Hope that helps. Wayne Norris, what's up, man? How are you? Woo, Christina Kostenko, how are you? VOO Vanguard 500 long-term. Vanguard is usually long-term. So check it out. What's next? AAP. AAP, we wrote all your stocks down. Okay, see, this is the kind of stock I like because this is very similar to what we have going on. Now, you can see here, stock went down, right? Bad market, bad, 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 whatever. So it went down. But look, even today, yesterday, very strong move to the upside. Itchy. And you got the next move right after that today. So what we're forming here is a beautiful channel. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful. Look at that pretty channel. Everybody, let's admire the channel. Ah, the beautiful channel. So if it, it looks like it's holding this 30-day moving day average, I really like this one. And I think it has a beautiful time to go to the upside. Uh, the volume is very low, though. So the volume is what's a problem for me. In fact, let me just kind of look at where it is overall. In general, when we're looking at something like this. So what I would do is uh, let's look at inspect here. And if I look at the inspector gadget... Yeah, I mean, this stock is just, in general, very low in volume. So to me, I like this chart. I just don't like the volume. So I'm going to have to say no on that because volume is king. Hope you all know that by now. Okay. Samuel Mebratu, how are you? Christopher A. Elia. Nine I Wesley in the house. How are you guys? Say hello, man. Don't be shy. We're here to help. Peter Kellett, Johnny Johnny, Richard Hennessy, I see you all. Anthony Mazella, Brian Norris, welcome all to the club. Where to next? Uh, BAC to the downside. BAC to the downside, looking okay. It is kind of stretched to the downside, so that's my only problem here. And, and I don't like it to the downside. It hit this support here. So if you really, I don't know, if you're on the phone, you might it might be hard to see, but you could see here. There's a move right there. I don't know why I don't use this inspector thing more. It gets in the way sometimes. But look at this. You see it right there. Beautiful move. Oh, yeah, that's why. It gets in the way sometimes. <laughs> it's kind of annoying. You know, I see what you're saying, right? Yeah, there it is. There is the move right there. Beautiful. In fact, I think we might see a little move to the downside, just a little bit. But overall, I really like it. I think... Uh, to the upside, just get, I wouldn't trade it to the upside either. I just, I, that bounce scares me as far as to the downside. I think it already hit its support. And you know, whenever this hits, hits support, a lot of times it sticks to that support for a while, as you could see. Where to next? Uh, EQNR. EQNR, Equinar. Ah, now this one is nice. Very, very nice. Um, so I like that it's really kind of going to the upside. We got uh, a Mac D's a little laggy, but that's okay. And, and thing like this. Now, these are the type of stocks I like to trade on the weekly. Again, please, if you have not seen my webinar, this, this stock will make you money if you incorporate my webinar. Comment webinar below. We'll send it to you. It's free. I'll show you how to look for stocks like this, how to trade it every week to make consistent gains. It's been working pretty well for a lot of people. So... Definitely highly recommend it. So comment webinar below. Um, based on what I'm seeing here, the stock went down to the 50-day moving day average, which hasn't been seen in a while. And now it's reversing beautifully with, look at that beautiful volume, over close to 7.5 million in shares. Beautiful. Nice move to the <clears throat> upside. I'm going to put this as one of my good stocks. Okay. Equinar going on the list. What do you think? I like the candle. I there's like a couple. Them. There's a couple of stocks that look like that too in the same sector. Very, very nice. Let me check what sector is this. Energy? Um, 
Yeah. Curious to look at energy. Like Velo. Velo just had earnings. Oh, yeah, I see that. Yeah, so uh, energy could be huge for us, guys, because it looks like it's ready to reverse, man. Very nice. Put on. Uh, do you mean by put on? A... Oh, no. Are oh, you talking to somebody else? Oh, yeah. What's your next? Um, A. Ah, uh, A. This is the one about two hammer candles, or is it bearish and golfing? Uh, it's not bearish and golfing. So bearish and golfing is if it's the full thing, if it's a full body. So this is more, but it's not a hammer necessarily. It's looking like a reversal. Um, so to me, this is, does not give me a, a huge like reversal signal. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's one thing. The other thing you got to be careful, Kelly, because I know you're in our paid class, is, um, you, you know, when you're trading stocks like this, it's, you got to be very careful, especially because the 200-day moving day average is so low. You got all these kind of all below it. To trade it to the upside is kind of a risk. And I could tell you this much, I've made this mistake many, many times. It looks good, but because of the, the fact that it's so low, I don't recommend doing this. Okay, plus the volume's kind of decreasing as well. So just not something I would trade. There is a good chance there is something, but um, I don't know. I, I just don't feel good about it. I feel like if we need to see it break here. Like that would be a good place to trade. To see it go back to the up channel, you could. Again, I'm not saying no, but these two candles are not a good confirmation. You want to see two of these or something like that with strong volume, strong volume. And of course, if you're in a paid course, we teach you exactly how to do that within seconds. So definitely use that type of stuff there. And I, I would love to get more students. If you're interested, we just uh, graduated a class. So we have a, a few more openings available. If you're interested in getting coaching, comment coaching below. We will set up an interview for you for sure. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Where to next? Uh, win, W-Y-N-N. Which one? Win. I, I don't mind winning. All right. To the downside. To the downside. Be careful to the downside. And here's why. First off, I mean, it's not bad. So don't expect craziness to the downside. There might be a chance that it could hit over here, like around this area for sure. Uh, let me see here. It does have this channel here, which it did break. I like that. Um, so it could, it could go to the downside. The volume is not as impressive. I mean, it's not horrible, but it's not as impressive. Uh, so I don't know, man. I don't feel like... Um, I'm okay with it. It's not speaking like to me that. because of the fact that I would like to see a breakout here. We've already seen the nice breakout here. It's kind of stretched from the down, uh, from the moving day average. If anything, maybe if it broke through here. So it's just this a little bit amount of downside for the for the amount of things we could have is not a good situation. And it, it's really, I would have to see it at the end of the day. If it's a solid candle to the downside, yes. If not, guess what? It's kind of reversing this position. So and we could continue in this little uh, consolidating channel. So be very careful here. This does not show me a very convincing evidence that this is gonna to go to the downside. Hope that helps. Uh, Radu, what's up, man? Rohit, how are you? Radu, Danielle T. Uh, Pat Rick, what's up, man? Travis Keys, Hal Maddox, a lot of people, a lot of new people today. What's up, everybody? If you have any questions, please let us know. Yeah, yeah, Christian. So, uh, yeah, I did answer that. So, yeah, if they're getting out, if they're private, they're not private yet, but that's the talks of it. So, yeah, they would not be on the market, they would be out. That's it. But until then, they're still trading. Uh, what's up? What's up? Thanks for everybody for saying hi, Mike and um, Rod. Appreciate it, guys. Yeah, if you're new here, have you, uh, Mike, Rod, have you seen the uh webinar yet? Just curious. If not, no big deal. Oh, what the heck? Bros to the downside, bros, <laughs> bro. <laughs> I kind of like this one, man. This is not a bad one. So, I, I the only thing about this one is it's not, uh, I just don't like the fact that it's such a new stock. So sometimes those type of things do not always work. So you gotta be very, very, very careful. Um, so in this situation here, very important guys, check this out. You're seeing, uh, yeah, like this broke through a beautiful channel. 
beautiful. But the fact that there's no 200 day moving day average yet, we are maybe not too long away. Be careful. I don't, I want to make an exception here for one reason. It looks to me that it's, it has a great pattern. So the stock mm -hmm. has good patterns. So I'm going to say, you know what, in this specific situation, I'll, I'll say, okay, it's a bit of a risk because of that, but I don't see why I couldn't get down to 45. So I would say good, uh, good on that one. And it's bouncing right off those averages. So that's even nicer. So I would say get to 45, but anything past 45, I'd be careful. I would get out, you know? So if it goes great, if not, no big deal. Kelly Myers. How you been Kelly? I haven't talked to you in a while. Have you talked to Dave? I see Dave was on vacation, believe it or not. So where's the next? Uh, boo. No. V O O like should look like the spy, yeah. Yeah, so this looks it, so this one just follows the market. It's very simple, just follows the market the way it is, keeps doing its thing. So would you go would you go long on the spy? Uh would I what? Would you invest in it? Because their question with the VU was, would you go long term? No, guys. And he, here's the thing: when you when you're thinking long term, you can't look at a chart like yeah, this. Yeah, you need, like you need to look like yeah. So we'll go. You know what? We'll do three years. Throw the we'll, twenty out. No. Twenty. <laughs> twenty on the month. What are you doing, 20. Elliot? Twenty on the month. What is Elliot doing to me here? What's going on? Let's go to three years. All right. I'm telling you, Elliot with his shenanigans today. Check out the monthly chart. So here, here's the thing. This should give you a bigger picture. When you're in doubt, look at the bigger picture. Look, see? You think it's bearish, right? You think it's bearish. Hold up. Before we go on, hold up, hold up. Yeah, zoom in on. Look at this, guys. You think it's bearish. Well, guess what? The bigger picture shows bullish. So always remember to look at the bigger picture. Let's get back to this. So in this, ooh, I hate when it does that. Like, there you go. Can you guys see my chart? Make sure we can see the chart. And we are not seeing chart. See, I, I figured out what, sometimes it does. Ah, I was there, bro. Sorry, but ah, I see it like it goes away. All right, let's see. Sorry, guys. A little bit of issues with the chart here. All right, so here we go. Perfect. So in this scenario, look at the long term. The long term shows to me, this is ready to kind of, it might have another maybe a week at most. But for the most part, it's I'm, I would be waiting to see a reverse on something like this. This stock is known not to go down too much. Anytime it does, it pops back up. Overall, if I had to look at the pattern, guess what? It just goes to the upside. That's the channel it goes to. Yeah, it has a little bit of a downturn right now. And I could see why it would say that. But to go against it, when at any moment, last time it was here, look what happened. Pop, pop, pop the weasel. That's a big weasel popper. And when you see a big weasel popper like that, the last thing you want to do is go to the downside. Jeff Young, man, how are you, bro? Augustus McGee. What up, brother? J Jason Merkel. Did you say hood put? That just sounds crazy. A hood put. That's a hood put. Mm. What's your next? PBF. What is it? PBF. PBF, I like this one. Nice. So yeah, it's these energy stocks. So guys, if, if I were you, start looking at energy. If you don't know how to find the right stocks in energy, you should watch the webinar. It shows you exactly how to find these great looking stocks in a certain sector. And right now, this is the sector. And here it is, boom, boom, boom. Beautiful, beautiful setup, beautiful move. This is a great channel. I would put this on my list. Volume is over 3 million. I like it. Still very solid. I mean, I like it. I like it. What do you think? I if can't. You like the other one. If you like EQNR, you got to yeah, like Yeah, I, I think these are the type of, And here's the thing. If it does go down a little bit, it's not a big deal. Just like the ones I showed you earlier. We, we got two stocks that went up right before the big turn. And the ones that didn't, are reversing very nicely, even in the downturn market, which I think are going to be seeing huge results coming up soon, like in the next few days. Where's the next? B B B Y. B B B Y. Yeah. I see. I'm not a fan of something like this. So there's too many crosses, too many things going on. Like this is a chart for me that I wouldn't trade. There's it's all of them. First of all, are way below its averages. That's the first thing. Um, 
And then you got no volume here. It's, it's been very low. This is not a little inconsistent. Just yeah. too much inconsistencies mm -hmm. going on. These are crossing, man. Like both of them, just a weird chart. Not something I would trade. Sorry, guys. Not for me. DVN by Dave Gorbia. Dave, how was your vacay, bro? You didn't tell me. That's my stuff. Netflix. You guys are really so Netflix, man. I mean, let's just talk about Netflix. Like, why would you invest in this? And I'm gonna tell you, it reminds me of Peloton. Hmm. You know, Peloton's a huge company, does that great, but it just hit with horrific news. Do you understand how horrific this news is? You lose 20 million clients. So let me explain to you what 20 million clients is. On average, I think Netflix costs like $12. Okay. $12. So all their budgeting, all their movies, everything they're making, they're already at a loss to begin with because of how many movie productions they do. If, if everybody pays $13, we'll say, yeah, we'll say 11. No, I think it's more. It's $13 average times 20 million. Okay. That's $260 million a month, a month of they lose. That's not an easy thing to feel. So during a quarter, of three months, they're losing close uh, $780 million. That's close to a billion dollars per quarter that they're losing. That's a mm -hmm. lot of money. Mm -hmm. And to they're going to have to figure something out. So to, to invest in something like that right now, you've got to be very careful, man. There's, I mean, that's a lot of people to lose. And obviously, there's things going on in different countries right now due to all the issues. So they're, you know, they're not showing it everywhere. Yeah. But to invest something like that, it's a little tough. And I'm going to show you something real quick right now, guys. Um, you know, let's go back to it. So you see how this is uh, such a huge drop, that gap, and it's continuing to go down. A lot of people are like, well, maybe it's going to go back up. It hmm. could. But I want to show you Peloton. Mm -hmm. Guys, we had some really bad news with Peloton months ago uh, with their treadmills and things like that. Very similar situation. And look what happened. Big drop. And then it continued going down. And what happened? What happened then? Oh, maybe it's going to reverse. Mm, not exactly. Okay, you know what? It's going to consolidate. It's going to reverse. And guys, I love the Peloton. I have a Peloton. Went down. Kept going down. It just keeps going down. Maybe one day it's going to reverse. Mm -hmm. Guess what? <laughs> On the long term, it's still going down. It's not stopping. And all the averages that they had, all tanked. So they became a new average so it, it's just sad but you know they have to in a when it's a big loss like that and you know i don't like news but news will help you in these situations that hey guess what you can see me on the screen right yeah all right that it could be a problem victor lachachu uh mark cunningham what's up brother mike evans what's up bro uh so yeah yeah, so we got some situations to uh, talk about here. I personally, like with Peloton, I don't see it coming down, uh, coming up right now that, until they figure it out. Look at that. That's not bad. But the big thing right now is, guess what? Right now is a time for us, and I'll be honest with you, this is the time right now for us to have the heartbreaker. Do you know what the heartbreaker is, guys? <laughs> this is where we introduce my dog, and we show us... How many hearts can we get in a moment of right now? Bella, come here. Bella's <laughs> chilling over here, sleeping on me. If you're enjoying the show, thank you, Victor. If you're enjoying the show, can we get some hearts in here? I'm glad you're doing good, Victor. Yeah, let's see. If we could get 274 hearts, come on. There's over 55 people in here. Let's see what we could do here. Let's go, guys. Come on. I know we could get this going, man. I know we could get this going. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. A few more hearts. Thank you, guys. I see I see a few of you. Tom Lauren, what's up, man? How are you? Shane Pennant, never back gapping down either. We'll check that out in a second. Cool. Let's go, guys. What's the deal here? Let's go. All right. We got some people going here for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. All right, all right. A few more hearts, and then we're ready for. Then we're gonna review a few more stocks. We got some good stuff coming on as well. All right, thank you guys. Thank you. We are getting back to the show. All right, all right. Mike Evans, what's up, Jeff Young? I got your stock right there. All right, fine. You want Bella on the head? Bella on the head. 
All right. There we go. Bella, say hello. Yep, she's ready for a show. <laughs> she's ready for a show. She's ready for a show. Oh, she's falling. She's falling. All right. Give me a kiss. Can you finally give me a kiss? Bella, kiss, kiss, kiss. She never one kisses day, me in public. One day she's going to do it. Come on. She never They're kisses me for a in kiss. public. They're doing a toast. No. You're dressed for the wedding. <laughs> she hates me. I'll give her a kiss. All right, guys. Let's get back into this. All right, all right. All right, so where is this? Let's move the thing over here. That's what's going on here, okay? And you're worried about this. Here we go. Still not doing it. All right, so so like I said, man, Netflix, no go. Let's go to the next one. Uh, XOM. XOM. X-O-X-O-M. Let me make sure we have my chart up here. This is all miscompopulated today. Let's it was go. up. Huh, it was it's up? It's just lagging on, our, on the phone. Oh, is that what it is? Mm -hmm. All right, sorry. Ah. I don't know why, like, oh, you know what it is? I know what it is. No, I don't know what it is. Uh, let me see here. I just want to make it a little, because this is full screen. All right. Now, here we go. All right, all right. If you guys could see my screen, let me know. Perfect. Thank you. All right, cool. So this one here, very similar to what we saw with the other stocks here. So we have a nice pattern where it broke through all the averages. And now it said, whoa, 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 we're at the 50 yard line. So I like this one. I just don't like this candle because it's, it's, a, it's an inverted hammer. So it shows me a little bit of the bearishness. I would not invest in this. I would wait for this to come up. So let me zoom in a little bit here. And you could see it. I would wait for this to come up back to over here and then start investing. But until then, be careful with it because if it does break through that downside, that could be some serious situation. Nicole, Nicole Garrett, how are you? Steve Seabury, what's up? Jordan Jackson in the house. So glad I bought Tesla puts when I crossed... Jordan Jackson, well, you got a new picture, <laughs> right? I'm not used to seeing that picture on him. All right. Yeah, what's next? M-N-S-T, Monster. Monster. I haven't heard that stuck in a while. <laughs> in a while. Um, all right, cool. So this one here, we got to bring back the trivia. That's what we got to do. <laughs> um, so you see, when the stock breaks through something like this, this is great. I love this. Um, even here, I would say, right? But it's been going up for a while. So we're getting awfully close to 200 day moving day average. So at this point, you got to be very careful because it might have a few more dollars in, but there's a good chance it might get rejected like it did over here to the downside, even though it looks good. But again, stocks will go A to B, B to C, C to D. And then it kind of has, a, I, would rec I would probably say it might go down a little bit before it goes back up. So if you want to look at like a Fibonacci situation here, a reverse Fibonacci, Actually, it would be a reverse, not really. Yeah, so we go. if you see it right here, there it is. Um, I could see this stock kind of hitting here, and you could see it already hits uh, a pretty good support uh, resistance line right here. I could see it coming down at least to 83, 84 maybe, 83, 82, somewhere there. It could be even 80, you know, could be. I don't think it will because there's too much momentum. And then start moving back up. Dale Soper, what's up? Dave Robinson, how are you? Come on, guys. You could say hello. I like when you guys say hello. If, so if you're enjoying the show, let us know, man. Definitely uh, would love to hear from you. What's next? Uh, hood. Uh, uh, for the put. Mm -hmm. um, I know, I, so this one's definitely a no-go for me. And I'll show you. First of all, the stock is kind of new. But it's a very obvious pattern here where the stock is hitting the support pretty strong. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Down we go. I would not recommend something like that right now whatsoever. You know, we need to see this coming, start coming to the upside, maybe break this line here, something. But definitely not, uh, I would not mess with this at all. Where to next? M-A-S. M-A-S from, I think it was uh, Kelly, yeah. Kelly, right? Mm -hmm. Um. So this is looking pretty good as long as we could break something here. So if you look here, it broke through this part here, you know, so that's good. Um, it's just hitting this 50 day moving day average. So it went up, went down, went up, but until it breaks this average, I would not mess with it. I would like to see it at around 55 and a half, 56. 
Because what happens then, it breaks that average, it breaks this uh, resistance. And I'll see how that, there's this line here, right there. Hold on, right there. So if it, it would have, I would say 55, 56 is the number to go for before we get entering at something like this. Yeah, Christian with some dollar sign bags. I like it. Um, thanks, Dale. How are you doing? Are you new here, Dale? Pre appreciate it. Where to next? Uh, DBN. Yeah, so if you're new here, guys, definitely comment below webinar so we could send you a web my webinar, which gives you six simple steps I use to make money on the market every single week. Definitely strongly recommended. That's how we picked 33 out of 34 stocks correct in, la in the month of March. And I think this month we're pretty on, on a good roll this month too. I don't have the statistics in front of me. Uh, this one here, but yeah, definitely recommended comment webinar below. Tiona West, how are you, man? Or woman, sorry. Um, so this one here, uh, right now it's way below its average. It's not way below, but it's below the 50 day moving day average. Be careful with that. When it's floating over here, good chance it's probably does go up, but we want to be kind of close. When I see two doji candles, which is a sign of indecision, got to be careful. Let's get it back to like 63 and then start trading there until then. Just, uh, I wouldn't mess with it. Sorry, Dave. What's your next? Um, T C E H Y. Makes me a little T C E H Y. Yeah, that's a lot of letters. Yeah. I don't know a lot of gaps. So something like this, guys. I mean, this is an OTC stock. Anything OTC, be very careful with that. They're usually uh, not regulated. No, I don't really trade them. Way below its averages. Too many gaps in it. It's just you got to be careful with things like this, man. It's just I wouldn't mess with it. And you, there's no real options here. So that's another problem. So personally, I would not trade this. What's next? Um, UAA puts. UAA puts. Ah, uh, you know what? I like that. I think this could be a good one. So, you know, Under Armour, it broke through this pretty nicely with decent volume yeah i would say it has a little bit to the downside mm -hmm. i like it i think we could see the 14 and a half even 14 so i would say yeah on that one yeah i would say that's good what's your next uh bg to the downside bg to the downside that i would not do and i'll tell you why just think about patterns right guys i see why you would say that but you know there's a strong downside downside but when was the last time this thing broke through this line it's been a while. It's been a while. So, you know, it's been, this thing just holds very nicely. And when it goes down, it comes right back up. There's a chance it could get to over here, but right now it's too close to this. So I would, I would like to see more confirmation. I wouldn't mess with it. I think this is a very strong stock and I would actually wait to see if it could get to 122 to play to the upside, if anything. So Ace Bush, that was your call. But yeah, Ace Bush, I do see what you're saying. But again, um, it's it's hard to say no. But and I'll tell you why, because I know and I kind of know how you look at things. Like you see some great momentum shifts, and I see that too. But when the volume's a little bit below where it should be, and it's kind of right in that moment, these things don't matter as much. The momentums are very lagging when it comes to swings. So that's just more of a, we want to focus more on price action, on the, the candles, those type of things first. The other things are just almost like a, kind of like just to make sure. John Whitaker, what's up, man? Linda Oliver, what's up? Shazia Ismail Amer, how are you? All right, a lot of peeps today. Well, where to next? Uh, A.N., is there any more room to the upside? Is there any more room to the upside? Let's see. I um, I don't know, man. Uh, was that the volume? Is the uh, yeah, I, I, you know, I, I try to. I don't want to be negative, but uh, so <laughs> the stock's just kind of hitting this point right here. So you could see it's hitting this channel. I it's very close. I'm going to say no. I think it's very stretched right now. I like that it just broke 200 day moving the average. That's a good thing. So there could be some movement to the upside. Uh, something, but I just, 
I don't know, man. I think you just draw the line right there, man. The, the volume. I know, I know. I just, <laughs> I think um, if it was like gradually going up, yeah. great. But those big moves like that, <clears throat> usually just, I mean, I'm going to show you right now what the risks you're looking at. It might do up, up, up. Maybe it will do that, but it could do one of these. It could do one of these. Look how quickly, yeah. you know, up, up and reverses. So for me to say that, I would have to say um, this is a third day in a row. There's not a lot of times that three days in a row we have. I mean, it's happened here, one, two, three. But even then, it kind of came down first. One, two, three. Seems to, So it's just too much risk to reward, personally. Never mind, CCK earning catalyst. Got it. Bush. Vlad, у меня день рождения сегодня. Приходите на меня. Oh, thank you. Isteva, can you read that? Can you read Victor's message? Not a shot. He's, That's all. Actually, it's Victor's birthday today. So, oh. yeah, so everybody, let's... Uh, secret, eh? Yeah, no, 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 no. We're going to tell people... You know, I, I, let's... Uh, Victor is one of our great members here. I really love Victor, man. He's a good dude. You know, he's a Ukrainian friend of mine. I'm from Ukraine as well. So uh, let's all wish you, Victor, happy birthday, guys. Let's give some hearts to Victor for a happy birthday. The least we could do is happy give some love to Victor. Happy birthday. Yes, Let's get some love for, for Victor. Let's give him some hearts for a great happy birthday, man. I hope you have a good one, bro. He's always in here, always giving us great stocks, always giving us good insight. Just a good, good person. I like good people. There's some a lot of good people in the in this world. And for, for some reason, we have them all in this group, which is great. So if you're in this group, good, good stuff. But yeah, enjoy your birthday, man. Really, seriously, have a great one. Um, I don't know. Yeah, he's not get this of yours to come for that, but um, but yeah. Victor, yeah, if if, if you don't if you don't mind sharing, I could have it. All right, so where to next? Uh you. All right, yeah, a lot of happy birthdays for Victor, man. Um, okay, cool. So this one here, let's see. Yeah, so this one is very. Uh, what do they say on this one? Uh, just uh, yeah, it's hitting the support. We're just it could be turning around. It could go down. We don't know. It's an indecision moment right now. We need to see for some sort of uh, uh, Stanford, Connecticut. Oh, I was actually not too long. I, I was in uh, Connecticut not that long ago in Enfield, Connecticut. So uh, nice area there. Um, so this one's coming up, but we need to see it going to the upside. So um, I, I personally think it's way below it's all its averages. I would not even touch this thing. But right now, it could go down. It could go up. There is a good chance it probably might reverse, but we need confirmation. Otherwise, I would not mess with it whatsoever. Uh, all right. How's everybody feeling, man? How's everybody doing today? I know, I know the market's crazy. But besides that, right. you know, what are your thoughts on uh, anybody want to talk about their thoughts on Twitter? the whole thing i thought it was pretty crazy and i'd love to hear people's opinions on that. that that's an interesting topic to me and i don't mean stock wise i'm saying like what do you guys think is going to happen with twitter man with the whole uh, with all the crazy changes elon musk's looking to put into play uh, what's next tobacco imagine he buys a book of face <laughs> all right so this one here um uh what is just good to, to the upside uh, M O doesn't say. <laughs> Excuse me. Tobacco. So this one here, like it was up, like it's, I. There's a few inverted hammers here, so that's the first thing. Other thing, like the momentum indicator showing a little bit to the downside. Um, the fact that it's been stretched a little bit from there, I'm not a fan either. <clears throat> oh, they're looking for upside. Yeah, I see that. Um, I'm gonna say. I don't think it's a bad call, but I don't think it's a good time for that. I would like to see this finish at a solid move, and I would like that. But right now, because it's kind of a, a holding here, I could see this maybe like doing a little bit of um, consolidation, maybe something like this. This is a potential situation here. Or it could go to the upside. So, But we, there is no confirmation of that. So I would be very, very, very uh, careful with that. Where to next? Um... NCLH to the downside. NCLH? Yeah. All right, NCLH. So it looks like it's coming to the downside here. Um, it just needs to break the 50-day moving day average. That's the big one here. 
we need to see this break that. So if it breaks that, we got a good situation. Until then, I mean, you're not, you know, you're, you're taking very crazy risks. It's been holding this 50 day moving the average for a while. We have a double, you know, look at a double top here. And now it's coming back down. So I could see this reversing. So unless it breaks, like it's, if once you see it at 19, then it's a good call. Otherwise, a good put. Otherwise, uh, I would not mess with that. Jordan Jackson. What next? VST. VST. Uh, VST. So it's been running this spot right here. But again, guys, uh, when you're seeing this inverted hammer, I can't call this out. I'd like to see it something like this. If I see a candle like that bouncing off, that's a different story. Again, you see how it comes down? Strong candle bouncing down here. And you see strong candle when it gets to here. Bouncing down, it always starts with what you call a Miru Bozu candle. Mm -hmm. We don't have that. So I would wait. Because there's a good chance it could still come down. There's a good chance it could go up. So it's not a bad call. I don't want to say it's a bad call, horrible call. You could play it here, but it really depends on your risk. I would I would say I might play it, you know, but I would have to wait. I'd have to wait personally to see a reversal to be extra safe. That's all. It really comes down to your risk. Ooh, okay, Jordan Santana, what's up, man? How are you? Welcome. What's next? Uh, I'm you. Amu. All right. <laughs> to the downside, I'm assuming. Uh, it is the. Um, so this one here, uh, yeah, so it's, it's like in the middle of nowhere. So I'm going to say no on that one. You want to see it get back to these moving day average. It's way below it. And you're just asking for inconsistency and I don't want to, it's just a gambling stock. I wouldn't mess with this one. Uh, X to the downside. I feel like that might, uh, um, okay. So this one. Let's see. To the downside? Yeah. That's hard one too because let's see. So this you see how I just drew this line here? So that's basically what would you say that's where it was yeah, from that time here. I feel like it depends how yeah, yeah. So I mean, based on the last time it had this big move, which is right here, it's coming close to its 50-day moving day average. It tells me the retracement part of it. It's about where it should be before it starts going back up. So for me to be okay with this, it means the next line is 61. So if it gets to 30, I would say, okay, you know what? If it gets to 30, we could see a $1 or $2 drop. For me to play this to the downside at this point would be like 28 to be safe. Because it's right in these three channels, which usually means that's when the stock's going up. And right now it's next to the 50% line, which is the most popular spot for it to reverse. So... Those are my two cents on that one. What's your next? Uh, CCL down. Probably similar to NCLH. Uh, this one looking good, man. I like this one. So to the downside, you said? Yeah, this one. So you could see the volume is increasing here. I like that, right? A little bit of the, oh, a lot of volume. Um, and it's breaking this support here. I see nothing wrong with this one. I like this one. What do you think? I like it. Yeah. It's on the list. All right. It's on the list. We're putting it on the list for the downside. Good stuff. All right. We're next. Uh, yum to the downside. Uh, Tony Stevenson. What's up, brother? How are you? Chris Wishnia. How are you, man? Thanks for saying hi. Appreciate it. CNP. Are you new here, Chris? We're next. We're, uh, I'm sorry. Yum. Why you um to the down? Mm -hmm. That sounds like a Jordan Jackson move. <clears throat> uh, this one here. Yeah, so I want to show you something like I just call this other play out. So this one, I show you why it's different. Look at this. So it's oof. Um, it broke through every single line, man. That's a lot of lines to break. So yeah, I mean, I don't know. I I just. It, it looks good. It looks good. I would like it to be at 116, a little bit closer, but 150. But I would say, um, man, yeah. I mean, the everything's like, I would say yes. What do you think? I well, think like, it has I, a one good day in it. If I had to pick between this one and CCL. I'll pick I, the other one. Yeah, because it's, this one got like the, the volume seems to be 
Like, yeah, the volume's kind of low. Yeah, you know what? That's why I ask, Elliot. Yeah, I think you're, you're right. <laughs> no, you're right. There's an interesting question. Why is it red here, but over here it becomes some resistance? <laughs> you ever notice that? Isn't that weird? All right. Anyways, yeah, so I'm going to say, if anything, maybe get to 115, because then it, it's beyond the 100. I've never noticed that. Yeah, see? I noticed things. <laughs> that is funny. Where to next? Um, he wants to know your best pick for the week on which stock will go up. You got to listen to the show, bro. So I far, like, like what I do is I pick people's plays now. Yeah. And uh, there is are it, a couple plays I do, like, for my private, private clients. So stuff it could like be that. Up, it could be down. We just want to make some yeah. money. But I, I don't like to specifically give you exactly like what I do, you know, because a lot of my clients who are, I do one-on-one -on -one specifically for, who um, would not like that. <laughs> so, but I do, I will share, share, if you give me a stock, I will let you know what I think. Uh, ECL. ECL, ECL. But if you'd like to be a client, let me know. Um, to the downside. To the downside. Woo. Break it on down. To the downside. Oh, yeah, I like this one. I think, so this one's going right to, you know, a million in volume. I would say it's bad. I think it has a little bit more to go. I like this one better than the one we were just Yeah, so I'm going to say yes <laughs> on that one. I'm going to say yes on that one. Where to next? Uh, but, and Chris, wish that if you're interested in finding out how I look for stocks, I have a webinar that can help you out. So if you're interested, just comment webinar below and we'll, we'll, we got you on that. Where to next? Uh, CMP. CMP. Yep. So this one here kind of. Oh, my it, bad. Um, yeah, it's yeah. So it's things like this, you got to be careful with. This is a very extremely low amount of volume. So anything can happen. This is like a doggy dog world kind of stock. Mm -hmm. You got to be careful. There's too much risk involved here. Uh, you know, one small, small thing could go off. You know, especially with the options, uh, you know, bid asks probably horrible yeah. on it. So I would say definitely stay away from this one. Marlon Samara, what's up? Which next? That was uh, exhausted. The list. Okay, that's good. <laughs> right on time. So, guys, it's been an absolute pleasure today. Um, so, what? There was one more. What? Which one? Uh, PLTR. PLTR. Same downside. Not CMP. I put CNP. You put CMP. Uh, yeah, you gave me the wrong stock. <laughs> no, I it just misheard. CNP. Yeah. You misheard? No, no, I said you misheard. I wrote CMP. Oh. Um, it looks very similar. Yeah, it looks similar. <laughs> it looks similar. So whatever I said for that one is the same. Yeah, I don't like that it's right next to it here. So uh, yeah, I see what you're saying, but it's too close to that moving day average. So I wouldn't mess with it. There's too much uh, momentum to the upside long term. Um, that was it? Uh, the PLTR one. PLTR, sorry. PLTR. PLTR to the downside. Yep, looks pretty good to me. I like it. Decent volume. Yeah, a lot of volume. So, yeah, I'm going to say good on that one too. Jordan, you always got some good picks. So, yeah, we definitely like that one to the downside. Anyways, guys, guess what? <clears throat> Thursday, we're going to be back. I'm going to, I'm, that could be the time when everything turns around for us. You don't know, right? We just don't know. But I have a good feeling that's what's going to happen. It's been really low. So, whenever it gets this low, that's when the that's when um these guys come out to play right like here. Wanna, you haven't seen this guy in a little bit, right? The bullish, ride. huh? That carnival ride or when they put you in the ball and the slingshot. I yeah, think yeah, that's mm -hmm. when the, the slingshot <laughs> action. No problem, Callie. And if you enjoyed the show, we'd love some hearts from you. What's up, Randy? My grief. Uh, guys, so we're gonna be back here again, man. If you're interested in what we're doing, if you like what we're doing. Uh, check out our webinar. I think you'd really, really enjoy Comment webinar below so we could get that for you. And if you're interested in getting some one-on-one -on -one help, we're doing some interviews right now. You're more than welcome to DM me personally or just comment coaching below. And we would love to talk to you and see, hey, maybe this could be something that could really help you uh, create a new um, new financial way of living. You know, have that as your vehicle. Dale so Soper will get you the webinar. Absolutely. Anybody else interested in the webinar, please let us know before we we end here so I could uh, make sure one of our guys gets that for you. Anyways, guys, really, really appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you for all the hearts. Thank you for that. Appreciate you all. And if you enjoyed the show, just let me get a thank you. And if you're watching this on a replay, comment replay below so we know uh, you're in here. 
Other than that, really appreciate every single one of you, man. Seriously, I will see you all on Thursday. We're going to come on some sick plays. Sick, sick, sick plays, I'm telling you. Um, so definitely see you there. <clears throat> Enjoy your day.